Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to school. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, October 4th, 2021. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. Looks like, looks like it's going to be cloudy today, high of about 61 degrees. We're supposed to get some rain later on this week, but I think today is just going to be cloudy for us, and we'll avoid some of the rain. I hope you had a great weekend. I know I did. Um, I thought the 49ers were going to win, but they didn't, so... Shout out to the Seahawks. They needed that win, and they did really well. Also, disappointment, bummer. The Mariners did not make the playoffs again. So uh, it's about 20 years in a row or more, and so we're just hoping that they'll get there. They got close this year. Sometimes that happens. We don't win all the time. Just like when you guys play games at home or you play games um, out at recess and stuff. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. So you have to be a gracious winner and a gracious loser as well because we don't win every game we play just like the professionals right um, so sometimes we win sometimes we don't I hope you had a great weekend though and you're ready scholars for a great day of learning it's a great day to be a Falcon as you get started today a few announcements for you first of all it is fire prevention week and that uh, runs from yesterday through next weekend actually if you'd like to go to the Monroe Fire Station, they have a great open house um, next Saturday on the weekend. So you can go there and they've got really cool things you can do. Um, they show you demonstrations. You can crawl through some um, house, uh, a setup kind of house thing to see how you're supposed to go through. Um, they talk about fire safety. I know they give away free bike helmets um, until they're gone. So it's a really cool thing that our uh, local regional Snohomish Fire District does. So if you're interested, it's next Saturday. But this is Fire Prevention Week. So their, their uh, theme this year is learn the sounds of fire safety. So I hope all of you have smoke detectors at your house in different places. This is a great month to tell your parents to check the smoke detector. There's a little button that they push and it tests it. Now you may want to hold your ears or whatever because it is loud. Remember, we want to make sure that those are working well. Um, this is a great time to change the batteries on smoke detectors in your house um, because a smoke detector is going to help you, especially when you think about it, when you're asleep, if something were to happen and there were to be smoke, uh, it'd be a while before we would wake, that, wake up from that smell. But those smoke detectors, if the batteries are in it and they're working properly, they'll warn us with enough time so that we can get out. One thing um, I want you to think about around your house is, is that there's actually three things, look, listen, and learn. So the first thing is look. I want you to look around your home and see if there are fire hazards around your home. Um, ask your parents to do that too. So looking around your house and seeing if there's things that you can uh, change to make sure, like you're not putting too many outlets into one wall. Look for frayed cords, uh, electrical cords. Make sure you don't, as, as the weather gets cooler and we start having more heaters on and stuff that we don't have blankets up against the heaters and those kinds of things. Listen is the second thing. Listen for the sound of a smoke alarm. Um, it's super loud, I know, but um, that's a sound to say in, it's time to get out, right? So that's the learn part. And a lot of families, they their kids know about smoke detectors, but does your family have an evacuation plan? So I want you to learn what that is. Learn two ways out of every room. Um, and having a meeting place outside. So where's a place that you're gonna meet as a whole family to get outside and make sure everyone got out of the house um, if the smoke detector goes off. So um, you should have two ways to get out of every room. So talk with your family and practice and learn whatever your evacuation plan is, okay? So talk to your family and have a plan to be prepared. So that's what I wanted to share with you today about Fire Prevention Week. Also this week um, on Second Step, we're talking about being assertive. So, you know, learning, um, learning means doing something new every day. And sometimes when we're doing something new, uh, we get stuck, right? You try things and you don't understand it or you get kind of stuck along the way and we don't know what to do. If we're stuck, we can use a skill for learning called being assertive. If you don't know something or you get stuck, being assertive is asking for help. So I want you to ask for help when you get stuck. You can ask classmates that are by you. You can ask your teacher for help. And getting stuck sometimes happens 
um, in the lunchroom, it happens at recess, it happens at home, and it happens in the classroom. So this week I want you to practice being more assertive. And all that means is when you get stuck, that you ask others for help. Okay, keep that in mind. So that's what we're talking about. Not just sitting there and going, I don't know how to do this, and you just sit and sit. When you're stuck, ask for help. And remember, other kids can be good helpers as well, not just the adults around you. So keep that in mind. Hey, a few birthdays to announce today. Happy birthday today here on October 4th to Emma Foltz. Happy birthday as well to Chloe Lynch. And happy birthday to Jacob Swiker. So happy birthday to Emma, Chloe, and Jacob. I hope you guys have an awesome birthday today. You can come on down and pick out of the birthday bucket this morning. All right, boys and girls, let's have a fantastic Freilands Day. Remember at Freilands Elementary School, we respect everyone's feelings and property and their right to learn and be safe. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls, and always remember, your Freilands family cares about you. All right, teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you.